Hey Jellicles, it's Saturday. And I am left with Grumpy the Dwarf. So I thought I'd talk about pet peeves and some of the things that actually make me angry. Because I'm not angry today. Things that I do get angry about. Drivers who shouldn't be on the road. I live in an area where there are a lot of retired folks and we get a lot of um, what we call snowbirds, people who live up north but then come down to Florida in the winter because the weather is gorgeous and they don't want to be in the snow. They shouldn't be on the road. <laughs> they should be on the road. At this point I drive defensively because if I don't, I'll die. Another thing that really bothers me are dirty dishes. Jesse, you know I love you anyway. But oh my god, dirty dishes, they drive me nuts. You know, actually it doesn't make me angry anymore. When it's just in one half of the sink, that's fine because I don't have to touch, I don't like having to touch other people's dirty dishes. Or when I go to use something that's supposed to be shared and I can't use it because it's dirty. Or if somebody had cooked and they were like oil splatters and tomato sauce and whatever, all of the stove. I secretly boil inside a little bit at that. I hate it. I hate it. You know, we can make this interactive if you guys want. You guys tell me what pisses you off. What makes you angry? What's your pet peeve? Nobody challenged me this week. So I have to think of my own stuff to talk to you guys about. So I thought um, I'd talk to you about a costume that I'm kind of in the process of making. Ever since Ina made her red panda costume, Rue, I want to make a lemur, a ring-tailed lemur. When I was a little kid, they were my favorite animals. I would, um, when I played with my friend across the street, we would pretend that we were animals in a zoo, and I was always the ring-tailed lemur. I just think it would be fun. I think they're neat animals, and I could pull all my cat's costume techniques into that and learn something new in the process. I don't have a lot for it yet. I do have a few things which I brought out here to show you. First things first, pictures. This is what I want to create. Ringtail lemur. I've tried makeup for this once. It was okay. I could do it better. Um, I might actually do makeup again before I finish this video and upload it, in which case I'll show it to you here. have a couple of paper plans. This is kind of a tail plan. I figure I'm gonna put wire through the tail. It's actually hollow tube. So I think if I can fill it with wire then it'll be stable and I'll create a fan with the wire and that'll sit on my lower back and that'll be sewn into a whole really thick waistband that'll wrap all the way around my waist I have this idea, I want to wear jazz shoes with it still. It's going to be a cat style animal costume. So I'll have the unitard and it'll be painted. And I'll be wearing regular jazz shoes with it. And the feet will actually be a sock kind of thing that slips on over the shoe. Construct it like you would fursuit feet, but really close fitting. I want it to be as realistic as possible. But yeah, so I figure I'll have that foot sock. And then I'm, I might do like garter stockings with the stirrup to go under the foot. I think that could be neat. The tail is going to be constructed on these. I don't know if you can see them. They're um, this hollow plastic tube. It's actually from um, one of my fish filters. So these are the intake and outtake tubes and this was the extra length that I didn't need and I had cut it off at the time. And I was about to throw it out the other day when I thought, well hey, look at that. I can make it into the S-shaped tail that I want, so it'll have that classic lemur shape. So it'll sit on my butt over here, and um, it's rubber, so it's got a really nice like spring to it. You like that, kitty? Yep, yeah, it's got a really nice spring to it. Lemur's tails are really thick at the base, and they kind of thin out and get really feathery as you get to the top. So I think I'll do the first couple rows of stripes in faux fur, really long pile faux fur, and then slowly add in Kinecolon is what I want to use. But I do have a problem. Oh, there goes my cat. My problem is that I really want to use um, 
the you know the jumbo braid texture if you've ever worked with Kinecolon. A lot of people compare it to yak hair as far as uh, appearance of a texture. And the dark brown I have, I don't know if you can see this, but it's it's kind of coarse. It's got good texture to it. That's what I want. My problem is that the black and the white that I have, although I ordered jumbo braid, and it says jumbo braid on the package, it's smooth. It's perfectly smooth. Um, and I want, I want the kinky stuff. I think the tail will have better texture if I have the, the coarse jumbo braid. So my question for you guys is, if you've worked with Kinecolon fibers, um, have you ordered black that's got that coarse jumbo, or white, my white is the same way, it's like the silky. I need black and white in that coarse, coarse texture. Where can I get it? Okay, I have my dice. I'm gonna roll it on the floor. Number five, that's Bomb. Bomb, you're an artist. I want you to show us your three favorite pieces. Because I've seen some of your stuff and it's really cool. And I want to know what your favorites are and why. And that's my Saturday vlog. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Don't get sunburned like I did last weekend. Wear your sunscreen. Don't get melanoma. And have a good weekend, you guys. Jenny, I'll see you on Monday.